The big challenge at the moment in agriculture is how to access land. The difficulty is that land prices are very high and the tenanted sector is very heavily regulated. So as a result of that, businesses are looking at new ways of doing business together. And in particular, they're looking at contract farming, share farming and joint venture farming. Contract farming arrangements is where the landowner is the farmer and he contracts in another party to provide certain services to that farm business, but he will remain a farmer throughout. In a share farming agreement, you have two separate businesses come together to provide services to the one enterprise on the same land. And what they do in a share farming agreement is they share gross revenue between them. And then you have a joint venture arrangement, which can be a partnership or a company. Two individuals or two parties come together in a new joint venture vehicle and share profits or dividends through a company. But the share farming arrangement is particularly of interest to new entrants and farmers who are retiring from the industry because it's seen as a way that a new entrant can come in and a retirement farmer can go out in a phased fashion. There isn't one size fits all in relation to these arrangements. You have to look very carefully at all the circumstances of the individual parties, what their objectives are and what their business structures are. And it's really important that they get good, solid advice, legal advice, agricultural consultant advice to make sure that these arrangements are going to work properly and achieve their objectives.